I'm back with part two. Let's see what this AI can really do. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm back with part two of this AI experiment. If you haven't checked out part one, I'm gonna leave it up here and in the description box. And before I really begin, I just wanna thank everybody who's supporting me and supported this channel the last almost four years for 20 thousand subscribers 20 thousand subscribers like wow thank you thank you thank you do y'all know how hard it is to get 20 subscribers let alone 20 thousand i'm grateful i'm happy i'm proud of myself because i've really put in a lot of work into the channel sometimes you put in a lot of work and you don't really get to see the results or you don't get the results you want but you know Slow and steady wins the race. Twenty thousand. I'm excited. I'm happy to see where else this channel goes. And thank you again for all the support. Oh, thank you. No, but no. In a nutshell, I'm using an AI bot called Mid Journey to see if it could create Alia scenarios. See if it gets her likeness right. You know, testing its intelligence to see. If they really know how Aaliyah would look or how Aaliyah looks. And if you saw part one, you know that it's a 20% chance it gets it right. Most of the images, you can kind of see it. And it's like, yeah, no. But some images, like this one, it blew me away. Like, honestly, it gets it right. And it's almost scary. Damn, this is some scary shit. And as another disclaimer, like I said in the last video, if this is not your type of video, if you have a problem with using AI, or, you know, recreating Aaliyah images or making Aaliyah images, just, you know, don't watch this video. This video is not for you. Somebody tried to like go back and forth with me in the last comment section on the last video and I almost blocked them. Like, I don't, it's not that serious. Like, it's not that serious. Trust me, I know that. But anyway. All it literally is, is just using an AI bot to create images to see if it gets Aaliyah's likeness right. Giving it random prompts. Like, you know, I said, oh, Aaliyah at the Oscars, Aaliyah at this, Aaliyah doing this, just to see what image it would create. To me, it's interesting, it's fun. And if you're still watching at this point, I feel like we're on the same page. So, are y'all ready to continue? What's up guys, welcome back to my screen. As you can see, I was working on one and I'm gonna get back into it, but I, this one was the most striking one to me. That's why I chose it to make four different versions. As you can see, it says Aaliyah the singer in a photo shoot with a pink fur boa. And it had different variations. This one I liked the most because of like the outfit it gave her. But as far as like the likeness, it wasn't all the way there. Like this one at the top, it looks like you know, Tony Braxton. You know what I'm saying? This one at the bottom has the most likeness to her. But once I feel like it's taking too long to get to it, I just move on to another prompt. One of the first ones was this one right here. And I love this one because that's another feature about this app is, you know, you make so many different images, right? It lets you blend images. So say, for example, y'all know from part one, it was the image with Aaliyah with all the colorful balloons around her, right? Then it was that image I made of Aaliyah as Rapunzel. It lets you blend images together to create a whole new variation, you know? And with these, I loved it because this captures, to me, it captured Aaliyah in like the 2000s era where she was like, you know, a full adult, she, you know, full hair, full makeup, you know, a nice contour, a nice, you know what I'm saying? And it just, I love the way this came out. Like the way her hair is flowing in the wind, the balloons, the castle, the background. And let me zoom into some of these so y'all can really see. But I love the way some of these came out. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's not like 100%. Like, I'm going to keep saying it's not 100%, but you can see the likeness, especially Aaliyah in her later years with like that, you know, more heavy makeup and, you know, hair and everything like that. Definitely, I can see this. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is her with, like, a more smoky eye. This is more of the eyelashes. And, like I said, one of Aaliyah's major distinctive features was her eyes. And I felt like these really captured that. I really like these. 
Now, the next one, and I got to say, of all the ones I'm going to show, I feel like this is like top three, and it's not number three. This right here was, the prompt I gave it was, Aaliyah in a photo shoot with a green snake. And, you know, you see the shirt I'm wearing. You know, this is a photo shoot she did. And, you know, the We Need a Resolution music video, she had a snake, right? So to me, I was like, hmm, how would Aaliyah look on a photo shoot if she really had like a photo shoot with a snake where it was just her and the snake? But I said, make it a green snake because that's a striking color. And I love this. Don't this remind you of Aaliyah from the We Need a Resolution music video? Like, you see what I'm saying? And it was an interesting choice. It was an interesting choice for them to wrap the snake around her mouth. Like, why do you think it did that? Now, I don't, you know, people might be like, oh, this, you know, the symbolism, da, 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 it's a sign. But, you know, I was thinking it was going to be like around her shoulders or, you know, like this or, you know, around her leg. But it was a close up shot and it wrapped the snake around her mouth, which is an interesting choice. And I love the jewelry. I love the nails. Everything about this picture is like the bomb. <laughs> And I could really have seen Aaliyah doing a photo shoot like this. I don't know if she would have had the snake around her mouth, but I really love this one right here. Now, this one, this is more of like a fun one. I told it to imagine Aaliyah as a character in Family Guy. And y'all know Family Guy has that distinctive animation style. So it's like, okay, you know how they always do in those flashback scenes? I'm like, imagine Aaliyah as a character in Family Guy. Like, if she had her own little episode, how would she look? And of course, they got the mic, they got the long black hair, the eyelashes, the lips, the you know similar skin tone. And I, I thought this one was interesting right here. Aaliyah and Family Guy. Could y'all have imagined Aaliyah with her own Family Guy episode? Or at least like guest starring? That would have been fun. That would have been hilarious. I know Aaliyah would have been hilarious in that. Now, another one is... Okay, this one, and this is when I talk about how when you're not so specific, they tend to make Aaliyah look like a different ethnicity. Like, she looked almost like biracial, like Middle Eastern. This was supposed to be Aaliyah as Sleeping Beauty, right? And I told her to make it like more of a photo shoot type thing. So that's why, like, the first two look like, you know, more human. The bottom two look more computerized. This one right here has more of, like, that, you know, bottom right has more of, like, a animation style to it. And honestly, I feel like this one right here is the best one. You can see it in the eyes, in the eyebrows. Now, this one, what do y'all think about this? I told it to imagine Aaliyah performing at the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Like, if Aaliyah was a Super Bowl performer, this was, like, one of the pictures that would have captured, like, mid-performance, you know, with the mic. And I love this. This is giving me more of, like, that 2001 or potential 2002 Aaliyah vibe, like, with the hair, the makeup, the lip gloss, lipstick choice. The outfit, I'm like, I don't know about the outfit, but as far as, like, the facial features, the hair, and the makeup, I feel like... This was a great visual of how Aaliyah could have looked in the middle of a Super Bowl performance. What do y'all think? Like, just look at the face and the hair. The face and hair alone, added with that makeup, have more like that we need a resolution makeup type style. I feel like this is one of the best ones. What do y'all think? And how do y'all think Aaliyah would have been at the Super Bowl? Next one. Now, remember what I told y'all earlier about Aaliyah with the pink fur boa? This was another one where it had many variations. And I seen this one and I was like, hmm, interesting. Now, when it made different versions of this, some of them look like, you know, the actress Sanaa Lathan. But something about this one, you know, with the middle part, somewhat similar skin tone, somewhat similar facial features. And I love like the photography style. It did it in like where it's just more of like a chest up shot, that pink boa around her, fur boa around her. It has like a nice real realism to it, you know? And just imagine if Aaliyah did a photo shoot like this. 
Now, this one was another more fun one, like animation style. I told them to imagine Aaliyah as a character in Mario Kart racing. Like if Aaliyah, now this is not really like the Mario, Super Mario animation style, but it made it more of like an animated cartoon version. If Aaliyah was in an animated race car type style, right? This is how I imagine her. And I feel like this one is not bad. The thing that throws this one off is the hair. We never really seen Aaliyah with hair like this. You know, we know her for like the jet black, straight down the middle, or you know, side swoop. This one right here gets it more, it's like a more like a chocolate brown, swoopy type long hairstyle. That's what throws it off. But if you look closely, like I said, in the eyes, you can kind of see it, the eyebrows, you can kind of see it, the nose. But the thing that throws this one off is the hairstyle, but not bad. What you think about this? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one was Aliyah in a photo shoot with her Grammy Award. Now, the thing about this is y'all see how the Grammy looks in each one. And by the way, I like the outfit, I like the different jewelry choices, and you know, it got her with nail polish. And honestly, facially. They kind of resemble Ali. Like, let's look at some of these. Like, this one right here. This is not bad. Like, you see this one? Honestly, y'all see this, right? It's not bad. But look. Look at this right here. It made, like, the Grammy, supposed to, it's a little bit too long. And it made it, like, double-sided. Why are you doing that? Or you give the AI too much to do, or you overwhelm it, you start getting crazy results. Now, let me just show you another one. Like, look at this. What, what is this? What kind of Grammy is this? What? What's going on? You see what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, come on, come on. Oh my God! Imagine Aaliyah winning a Grammy. Like, the fact that Aaliyah has never won a Grammy, she was nominated. I mean, it is what it is. But I feel like Aaliyah should have had a Grammy. At least with her last album, self-titled. Okay, now the next one was when I said I want Aaliyah in a photo shoot kneeling with brown leather boots. Sometimes you can give a specific clothes for them to wear and it makes the rest of the outfit. Like I told them I wanted her kneeling with brown leather boots. Now this is not really kneeling. It's more of her like sitting down with her knees up. And she has like, you know, that type of pose. But I told them Brown loved the boots and made the rest of the outfit on his own. I don't think I live with a war outfit like this. I mean, maybe depending on the photo shoot, movie, whatever. But honestly, this one here is not bad. I chose this one because I like the different style. You know, this is a look that we have never really seen Aliyah in you know, clothes-wise and things like that. So I'm like, this would have been interesting to see her at different photo shoot styles like this. Not the next one we have is, let me see, is loading. I think this one, I told it to, hmm, make a photo shoot of Aaliyah holding a bouquet of roses. Now you can see it took that and made it into its own thing. It's almost looks like, Aaliyah at her wedding, you know, like it looks like this is like a bride gown with the veil and everything with the jewelry, the roses right there. And this one really got to me. I was like, this somewhat looks like Aaliyah. Like you could tell it's like 65, 70% there of her, of it really looking like her. If you really look in, the thing about it is something about, and this goes to show like how if one feature is off, it throws the whole thing off. Because if you look real fast, you'd be like, oh, it looks like a, but this is one of those ones that if you look too long at it, you're like, nah. Like, it's something about the nose and mouth and, like, the face shape. Or maybe it's a head tilt that's like, hmm. Quick glance, it really looks like her, especially, like, in the eyes. And, you know, they got those nice, sharp eyebrows. But you look at this too long, you're like, hmm. Okay, another one I did was... Aaliyah, wait for it, as the Mona Lisa. 
And I did one in my last video. You can see it in the thumbnail. I forgot to show it in the actual video part one. But this one, I said, okay, let me try. Let me do it again. Aaliyah as the Mona Lisa. Now, this one right here, I was like, hmm. Sometimes they make Aaliyah look like a whole different ethnicity. And I see maybe they were trying to blend Ali's features with the Mona Lisa's features. But this one, I'm like, hmm, no. And this one right here, is it me? Or this look like Ice Spice. Like a million views in a day. So many That's Ice Spice. <laughs> that look like Ice Spice in the face. Y'all know Ice Spice the rapper with the orange curl? That look like, that's Ice Spice. Stop playing with me. This one... Where the fuck you even come from, bitch? Who are you? Who? Out of all of these, my favorite was this one right here because I'm like, I like that hairstyle, you know, like that 1700s, 1800s, whatever, whenever Mona Lisa was, hairstyle. It got that same type of hairstyle. And the facial features, like I said, it's more like Mona Lisa feature mixed with Aaliyah features. And it's not bad. I like the outfit. I like the, the similar pose, the jewelry, not bad. What y'all think about this one? What do y'all think? Now, let me see. This one. Oh, I like this one. This is when I told them to make Aaliyah have a photo shoot holding her perfume bottle. Like, imagine if Aaliyah had her own perfume line. How would it have looked if she had a photo shoot, you know? Because, you know, when these celebrities get their own perfume lines or fragrances, they have photo shoots with it. And out of all of these, you can see, like, each one has some type of thing to it. I feel like the ones at the top have the most likeness to her. Not really. You look at it too long, you're like, hmm. But I could have seen Aaliyah with... A perfume like this with the red because you know she was into the dark side and you know vampires and things like that i could have seen her with something like this more of like a vampire s type perfume but then also this one and the eyes you can kind of see it and this looks like you know a standard bottle clear bottle these right here almost 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 and this one hmm. But overall, how would y'all have imagined Aaliyah with her own perfume bottle or perfume fragrance? Like, how could you remember Rashad came out with one a couple of years ago? It had more of like a unisex appeal to it. But how would y'all have imagined Aaliyah's perfume really smelling? The next one I did was Aaliyah in a photo shoot with her brother Rashad. And y'all know. Both of them, we know how both of them look. This one, I could tell, like, it made Aaliyah look really young. It made Rashad look like he's, like, in his 20s. And it was, put, like, I could see that I'm telling you, like, the AI be trying. It don't always succeed. You know, if first you don't succeed, try. <laughs> Let's see what it did. It's supposed to be Aaliyah and her brother. I feel like, hmm. Mm, a little, little. It's looking a little like Sanaa Lathan, you know, like a young Sanaa Lathan. And Rashad, <laughs> they got the same skin tone, haircut, and everything, but it's like uh, a few more tries, it would have been there. This is supposed to be Aaliyah and Damon Dash in a family portrait with their two daughters. That's what I told the AI to create. And I was like, okay. But I zoomed into this and I'm like, wow. Wow. Now the two daughters, I'm like, okay. Even Aaliyah, it's 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 the essence of Aaliyah, but that's not really. I just feel like it's another one where it's like Aaliyah mixed with Sanaa Lathan. And then you see the bun on her head with the headband. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. Oh my God, hold up. It's like, you almost had it. You almost had it. And Damon Dash, like I said, 
and knows to make him ball headed. Every Damon Dash pitcher created, he's always ball headed with that same head shape and, you know, the goatee. And if you look close, it's like, that's not bad. This really looks like Damon Dash in some type of way. So overall, I got to say, out of all the ones I made in this video, this one right here was my favorite one. Not only does it really look like Aliyah and like that We Need a Resolution era music video, like this could have been like an outtake or, you know, she was done with this scene and she did a quick photo shoot. And the green, I love the green outfit. I love the green snake. I love the jewelry, everything. The smoky eye makeup, it really resembles that era and that music video. It just looks the most like her to me. And the hair, everything about this picture is just on point to me. What do y'all think about this image? And out of all the ones I showed y'all in this part two, which one was your favorite one? All right, guys, I'm back. That was really interesting. And honestly, I wouldn't mind making this some type of series. You know, if I get some more ideas, if y'all give me some more ideas, like I wouldn't mind making this a series. But I gotta say, this was really fun for me. Like just the thought of, you know, back in the 90s, the early 2000s, even the 2010s, you couldn't do nothing like this. Now, granted, some of them, or I'm going to say most of them, didn't really look look like Aaliyah, but you can see the likeness it was trying to recreate. And some observations I noticed is that you have to be really specific to get certain results. Like, if I didn't say Aaliyah the singer, if I didn't type out her whole name, Aaliyah Dana Haunton, then for some reason, it wouldn't really make Aaliyah's likeness the best. Like if I just put Aaliyah doing such and such and such, sometimes she will come out looking like Middle Eastern or it would make her look a whole different ethnicity or she would look like, you know, biracial or Latina. If I typed in Aaliyah the singer, Aaliyah Dana Horton, then it will have more of a likeness to Aaliyah. Like with this, you gotta be really specific to really get those results you want. And another thing I noticed is that if you tell it to make too many people, like say, oh, I'll leave a family portrait, or I'll leave this, or I'll leave with this person, I'll leave with that person, it focuses on one person and it messes up the other. Like all the focus and all the detail would be on one person. The other person might look crazy, they might be missing an arm, or the hair might be messed up. Could somebody please make it make sense? With that being said, I wanna know, what was your favorite image from this part two, like out of all the images I showed y'all now, today in this video, what were some of y'all favorite ones? Of course, I know most of them don't really look like Aaliyah, but you can see the likeness. And y'all know I'm a major fan. Like even with me, I can be like, oh, mm. but you could see the likeness. What were some of y'all favorite images from this part? And what are y'all thoughts on AI in general? The fact that you can even use this program to do things like this. How do you see it going in the future? Like. Have y'all tried it? Have y'all experimented with this? What are your thoughts? Please let me know down below. I can't wait to get this discussion started with y'all, to get y'all reactions. Let me know if y'all want a part three or if y'all want me to make a series. This should be really interesting. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.